Hello and welcome back to a new video in coronavirus series of Explore Bio. Previously I have made videos on how RT-PCR and rapid antibody kit works for novel coronavirus detection. I highly recommend you to watch them. Their links are given in the description below. In today's video I will talk about the working principle of rapid antigen kits and we will see how it is different from antibody based and RT-PCR kits. The rapid antigen test detects the presence of SARS-CoV-2 or novel coronavirus surface protein or antigen in the patient's upper respiratory tract using specific antibodies. This test is especially beneficial to identify the people who have high level of viral infection. It is based on the principle of antigen-antibody binding. Let's understand this in detail. Antigens are the substances that cause our body to produce an immune response or defense response. Antigens have distinct surface features known as epitopes. In immune response, B cell of our body may produce Y-shaped immunoglobulins known as antibodies against these antigens. Antibodies contain unique paratope region for binding to the specific epitope of antigen. Antibody binds the antigen and helps in deactivating or eliminating them from our body sometimes with the help of immune cells. Most rapid antigen kits target SARS-CoV-2 nucleocapsid antigens using specifically developed monoclonal antibodies. The monoclonal antibodies identifies only a specific epitope of nucleocapsid antigen thus increases the specificity of detecting novel coronavirus. Now let's see how rapid antigen test actually works. A nasopharyngeal swab is taken from the suspect or patient and mixed with the buffer supplied with the kit to liberate viral antigens free in the solution. Next, few drops of this sample solution are applied to the sample well of the detection chip. The chip is especially designed and contains following key components or the sections. S point where sample is loaded. Next, a conjugation pad where antibodies against the novel coronavirus antigen are present. Additionally, as a positive control for the test, antibodies for non-target antigens normally present in the pharynx region is also present. These antibodies are conjugated with the gold nanoparticles which helps in the visualization. These antibodies are free to move through the capillary action. The samples move laterally by capillary action towards conjugation pad and binds to their specific antibodies. At point T, another set of antibodies against the viral antigen is fixed. At C point, antibodies against the non-target antigens are fixed. At these points, if the antigens corresponding to the antibodies are present, they form a sandwich with antigens in between and appear as colored lines. Coming on to the interpretation of the results. From sample loading to result interpretation, it takes around 15 minutes. If both the test line and control line appears, it means the test is successful and patient is positive for novel coronavirus. If only control line appears, it means the run is successful and the patient is negative. But this needs to be further verified by RT-PCR test, as very low viral load is not detected by the antigen kits. If only the test line or no line appears, it suggests that the run is faulty, the results are invalid and the test needs to be repeated. The similarities and differences among the antigen, antibody and RT-PCR kits. First let's talk about rapid antigen test we just learnt. As COVID-19 is a disease of upper respiratory tract, nasopharyngeal swab is needed to perform the antigen test. It detects the viral surface antigen using specific monoclonal antibodies against it. Results are available in 15 minutes. Sensitivity is lower than RT-PCR test. Antigen test tells about the current infection. Once the infection is over, the virus or antigens disappear and the test comes negative. Minimal skills needed to perform chip-based antigen test. In case of negative results, the test needs to be conducted again after few days till viral load is detectable or else RT-PCR tests are recommended. The rapid antibody tests are done with the patient's blood sample. It detects the antibodies patient develop against the virus from the patient's blood. Similar to the antigen kits, the results are available in 15 minutes. Sensitivity is lower than RT-PCR test. 
Antibody test shows that the person has developed antibodies against the virus and may be currently or previously infected with the virus. As it is also a chip-based method, minimal skills are required to conduct these tests. Similar to the antigen tests, RT-PCR tests are also done with the nasopharyngeal swab samples. It is based on PCR amplification of a specific region of viral genetic material using a specific primer and fluorescent probes. The results are available in 3 to 5 hours. Sensitivity is very high. Minor viral load can be detected which is not possible with other two methods. It tells if the patient is currently infected or not. Laboratory facility and skill personnel are required to perform the RT-PCR test. Nowadays, antigen test and RT-PCR tests are very popular. Sometimes they are done alone and sometimes for more accurate detection, both of these tests are recommended. If you like the video, do share with your friends. Mention in the comment what news you learned today. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay informed about my latest videos. And finally, thanks for watching.